I, I mean, I don't really want to fuck your pussy, but like, oh, I I will okay. if I have to, you know. Like I'm, I yeah. Would I be paid? I mean, you'd be paid in certain services. Uh, oh oh hey hey I I, I didn't see you there. Welcome to raw. <laughs> <laughs> What a stupid gimmick. That's so fucking good. We are here in the Joe Louie Arena. Yeah. In Detroit, Michigan. That's my favorite arena. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Your favorite arena is the Taco Bell. (laughs) You're right. The SmackDown Taco Bell. (laughs) Taco fucking Bell. Taco Bell. (laughs) Um, so I fucking kill my vocal cords. Um... Yeah, this is the first draw of June. Uh, if you want to see what we did last month, we made 1.9k, about two Skr- mil, or k mil, k, 1.9 Jesus. mil. Uh, we, we made a whole two grand, brother. Yeah, woo! No, we made basically <laughs> two mil, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, she and Sierra there, King of the Ranks later this month. Uh, what month? How's our pop doing, brother? What week is it actually set at? I'll look at that here in a sec. Oh shit, we got to week four of King of the oh, Ranks, wow. so it's the end of the month. We got lots of time to do tons of different stuff. Uh, we are looking pretty much the same that we were last month, I think. Um, yeah, but we're, go- we're going up. We're making a steady pace. Well, we're going up only because of fucking No Mercy, which was weird, because that was released, like, the year previous that we started <laughs> this. Um, yeah. We, we, I was playing or whatever, stimming, after the first couple of shows we did or whatever, and we were, like, an 84, and we were like, we're just gonna lose pop. So, you know what? At, like, the sooner we lose this pop, the better. And then it turned right. around, and it was like no mercy sales and i'm like wait isn't this 2001 when was this release and it was like november like 99 and i'm like what what the fuck what and so yeah we gained a ton of fucking pot wow yeah it was kind of shit uh but we're kind of sustaining it so it's okay sweet yeah it's okay we're, we're almost fucking global like kind of dope we're, we're pretty close to global we have four uh of the eight requirements for global we're like 50 percent to global maybe we can become a publicly traded company <laughs> maybe we can become an asshole uh, um i mean i'm down yeah okay um if you'd like to buy stocks in wwf 2001 please leave a comment and uh leave it off yep i'm down we're gonna um, start it at uh two million shares yeah i like it uh yep. are you ready to run the show i'm ready brother let's go we kick off it's the brothers of destruction Uh, and they're at a bar wait a minute it's cesaro and sheamus they've traveled through time and then sheamus like breaks his fucking neck or whatever and like isn't allowed to (laughs) wrestle anymore but then does it anyways and everybody's like wait what what did you hear about that no yeah unlike a house show apparently like sheamus fucked up his neck they did surgery and they were like he will never be able to wrestle again (laughs) and this was like two months ago what the fuck literally and everybody's like wait but didn't he do the thing like there are the reports we see the reports what the fuck was it all lie like nobody fucking knows what the hell the situation is it was a work brother apparently they they, even though like it should have been anyways um, well, can I br- can I break down the yeah? Segment go ahead. This is this is your on. angle. You know, you pitched this, this to me, so go ahead. This is fantastic stuff. So, uh, you know, the Undertaker, right? He's a biker. You know, he hangs out with biker dudes. They go do biker things, right? And uh, Paul Bearer is out taking care of business, so he had to bring. So Undertaker had to bring Kane along with him. You know, and uh, they go to this bar, and there's a bunch of you know tough you know biker dudes and shit, and Kane's just there. Undertaker's like, hey, everybody, how's it going? You know, no, oh, dude, you know, cool guy, biker stuff. You know, he's like, yeah, I had to bring on, bring along my dumbass brother. <laughs> I had to bring him. <laughs> he had to. <laughs> he's gonna sit in the back over Kane, there. Kane's, <laughs> Kane's into some, uh, some weird shit. I don't, I don't blame you guys if you don't want to talk to him. Okay, he's kind of. <laughs> I will set you all on fire. <laughs> Taker's no, like, no, 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 Kane, no, stop, stop, it. stop. not, not around my friends. <laughs> yeah, not around my friends. Please, come on, this is. We're trying to have some beers calm down. All we'll right? set things on fire later. We'll set, we can do fire another time. Fire later. <laughs> Kate's like, huh. 
<laughs> and so this is going to be a story long, uh, uh, show long angle. So we'll we'll see where it picks up from there. Moving forward, it's a match. Oh, it's a pretty good one. Oh, wow. F- fuck Raven fucking killed him. Um, oh shit. Bruised eye socket. Oh shit! It was that um the the chair spot. What chair spot? The the drop toe hold into the chair. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, all right. So King of the Ring update. Uh, I couldn't actually get into the Excel file, so it's kind of weird. Uh, but just know, uh, Chris Jericho won this match, so Perry Saturn is a line through him. Uh, yep. Bradshaw lost this match, so he is a line through him. Big Show moved on. But we're over here. We see Hardcore Holly versus Raven. Uh, and Raven picks up the victory in about 8.45 by Pinfolf and even Flow DDT. Wow. Um, 71C+. plus, Pretty good stuff, yeah. Yeah, that was good shit. It, it, it's interesting, though, because, like, I think with, like, the <laughs> dynamics and stuff like that that we have in, like, the opening round, you know what I mean? Because, like, we have, like, Rikishi Val Venus, which is kind of, like, big man versus, like, medium mang, you know what I mean? The big yeah. mang and the medium-sized mang. Like, yeah. it, like they, they face off or whatever, and they kind of have a different type of match. Then you have Van Dam versus Al Snow, which would basically be a showcase for Van Dam's athleticism. You've got yeah. the really crisp, probably technical stuff from Saturn and Jericho. You have the fucking Hoss battle between Big Show and Bradshaw. And now you have mm-hmm. kind of a hardcore-type match, um, or at least a WF hardcore-type match between Hardcore, Holly, and Raven. Yeah, I, a I, real good cla- good clash of styles, brother. Good yeah, style. I, and that's kind of what I tried to do here uh, with uh, the tournament. As you can see, kind of with Steiner Test, uh, or Rhino Test, uh, Steiner Farouk, we kind of go back to that Hoss battle-type gimmick, uh, more so yeah. with Test Rhino, because they will fucking beat the shit out of each other. Um, yeah. But, I don't know. And then Edge and K-Quick is a match. <laughs> it is a match. I wonder who's going to win that one. Really a, really an exhibition for K-Quick. Um, yeah, definitely. So yeah, Hardcore Holly got fucked up. Yep, he took that took that uh, drop toe hold into the chair real hard, brother. Let's see, let's see who informs us of it. All right. Fuck off, Steve <laughs> Skinner. <laughs> Look at fucking Steve Gurney. He's like, hey, hey, that Holly guy got a hey. fucking eye socket bruise. <laughs> you see that fucking mark? Fuck him. <laughs> Anyways, let's move forward. Oh no, three seventy. You'll have oh, to leave. I gotta get out of here. All right, so William Regal comes out. And he's like, after the disgraceful oh, besmirchment of my continent, the great continent of Europe, I've come out here to inform all of you pitifully ignorant Americans about the greatest continent. There's a reason why Europe has the most history in the entire world, which is actually, like, completely wrong, but, like, you know, it's a, it's a gimmick, brother. He's a heel. He, he can't be always right. Uh, and so Regal says, uh, as you can see here, and he pulls down a map. He's, like, in the ring, right? He's got, like, a map, and he's got, like, a pointer. And he's like, this right here is my home country of England. And if we, uh, and you see this little island off here, this is, this is Ireland. Uh, part of it uh, is part of the United Kingdom with us. Uh, and the other half uh, is on its own. Uh, if we move down here, uh, we have France. Uh, if you if you go a little bit farther, you know you get to Spain, kind of kind of the big three traditionally uh, of powers. Uh, maybe maybe not so much now, but historically, when you look back, three very big powers. Uh, moving over a little bit, uh, you've got uh, you've got Germany, uh, Italy, Switzerland. You know this nice little uh, kind of kind of a three group as well. You know, kind of kind of moving in threes uh, above them, and then um, the Hardy Boys music hits. Uh, Jeff and Matt just storm the ring, and Regal's like, what the fuck? What in the fuck? <laughs> and he, like, gets out of there. And so, like, uh, you know, Matt and Jeff or whatever, like, lay waste the ring. They save the crowd from this boring bullshit. And I, th- like, I think, like, Jeff grabs the map and, like, throws it outside the ring, and Regal's like, my map! My map! <laughs> He's gotta, like, go over there and collect his map. Uh, and Lita is also attractive. Um, and 370 was not allowed to be here because of it. Uh, but the Hardy Boys celebrate as they have once again besmirched William Regal. You can come back now, good sir. Oh, thank God. Did you like how I handled that? I, yeah, very much appreciated that, yeah. Thank you, thank very you. Well, very well done, very well done. Oh my God, we get something we don't have very often. Wow. It's a promo that's not interrupted from the hardcore champion, Steve Blackman. Steve Blackman oh, says he's been hardcore champion now for like 
a, a week, like a year, two weeks. Oh. I don't know. It's a fucking year in hardcore years numbers. Yeah. Um, in in hardcore years, hardcore years, like dog years. <laughs> Each week is like a decade. <laughs> That's a good gimmick. I've been hardcore champion for like twenty five years at this point. Oh God. Steve Blackman's like tonight though. I want a challenge. Hey, I wait, want a can, fight. Really, really quick. Yeah. Can we can we set like a like a like a title lineage that has every day be like a week or a month in days? God damn so like it. Steve Blackman has legit held it for like six months. Six months. He's held it for like two <laughs> weeks though. So <laughs> Alright, it'd have to be four months. Um two months? I don't know. Whatever. Okay. It's your gimmick. Go ahead. Fuck All up. Right. Um, I'll make a gimmick. So Steve Fuck Blackman, up. he's like, I want a challenge tonight, I want to fight. I'm having an open challenge. Anybody wants to come down here? I mean, this is how the hardcore belt works, but whatever. He's like, you know, I'll be in the ring at, like, this part of the show, whatever the time is. Uh, and uh, come on out here if you want to get a piece of me and try to get this title. I'm looking for a fight. My name is Blackman, and I love to fight. Oh, man. Doodaloo! 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, you want to move forward? Could do. Lit. Do you have that plane going by my house? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, it's the, it's the light heavyweight champion. Oh. J- Jerry Lynn fucking technically rapes. Not technically rapes. Technically rapes. Not like me. Not like me. Yeah, not 370 where he technically rapes me with his right. voice. Um, yeah, and other things. Oh no! Um, he, 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 <laughs> well, that was a business arrangement. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah, Jerry Lynn just exposes Scotty Too Hotty for being a talentless clown. Cool. Beats the fuck out of him. Beats him with a cradle yeah. pile driver. Good match again. I gotta say, Jerry Lynn. Jerry Lynn's the fucking man, dude. Does what he's doing. Oh yeah, always does. And again, me in the corner. E C dub. E C dub. Pretty much. Move forward. Yep. Uh oh shit yeah it's the number one contender Dean Malenko oh. he just comes out on the stage and he grabs the mic and he says belt want <laughs> Sherilyn's like okay 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 <laughs> that's your angle good angle holy shit it's the big bad um, booty daddy Jesus Christ do you want to do this promo the oh, fuck I hmm. I'm already in a lot of legal trouble. I don't know okay. if it's better for me to do this or not. So Scott Steiner comes out. <laughs> or no, he doesn't come out. He's backstage with whoever the hell our interviewer is. Probably like... Coach. Is he backstage? Is he backstage or is he in the ring with a mic? He- he's backstage. Okay. So, so Scott Steiner says, I'm right. The big bad booty daddy. He's here in the WWF. That's not how he talks really, but I don't care. You know what I mean? Scott Steiner promos are just going to be fucking dyslexia but like spoken <laughs> spoken dyslexia he's like he's like I'm here to do the what the, the big bad boot and I cripple people I lock them in a stunner recline and I rig back and I fucking wreck them that's what I do you know that's a shoot thing the um having speech that's like um it's not it, it's either backwards or it's like mixed somehow that's like a gimmick that's like a shoot thing that's like a shoot disease Jesus Christ I yeah, feel terrible that, now Oh no! He said, "Come out! Open it right the king, the, the, the ring of the king tournament. <laughs> I got you, you bitch ass Farouk. I saw you in the in the in the in in the, in the CW when when you was the tag champion. <laughs> I wanted the tag champion, so I fucking took it. And I I want the king of the ring, the 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 the, the king of the ring. You're in my way. I'm gonna fucking beat you. You ain't fucking shit." The big, the big bad booty daddy with all my little fucking peeny pump fuckers. <laughs> Scott Steiner, hey! <laughs> all right, all right. Everybody in the crowd's like, Haha. <laughs> oh, everybody no. is just terrified. Yeah, Vince is like off screen, like, oh fuck, what have we done? <laughs> what have we done? The fucking horror. Moving forward. It's a match, yeah. I think. It is. Oh. It's the hardcore championship match. 
Oh, uh, good, good, another good match, bro. I'm happy yeah, with the matches huh? tonight. Holy shit, it's a new hardcore champion after Wait 25 years. <laughs> after 25, after this Bruno San Martino esque reign. Putting Rob my Van fucking Dam. boy over. Rob <laughs> Van Dam does it. He beats Crash Holly, Spike Dudley, Albert, Steve Blackman, a test. When Rob Van Dam beats Spike Dudley by pinfall with a five star frog splash. Yeah? Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Rob Van Dam is hardcore champion. He did it. The boyhood dream. Look at that this... fucking rating, dude. God damn. He's a brother. fucking star. He is. Shoot. He's a shoot star. Rob He's Van a shooting Dam star press, brother. It's the whole fucking show. You ain't lying. Effing show. Cool. <laughs> Whatever. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, I'm I'm Rob Van Dam. That's so wacky. Whoa, I'm Rob Van Dam. <laughs> Whoa, bro. Oh, cool. Oh, radical. <laughs> oh, let's go oh. surfing. <laughs> Whoa, guys. The tubes are extra gnarly today. <laughs> that is his fucking character, though. He's like, gnarly, <laughs> rad, <laughs> groovy. Tubular, brother. You want to smoke some fucking weed? <laughs> That's shoot RPDs. It's like, just like, y'all get any more of those crack cocaine? Crack cocaine? Y'all get any more of that crack cocaine? Jesus. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's, uh... Albert? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Questioningly, Albert? Is that Questioningly? you, Albert? <laughs> I, think that, I think that's Albert. I blame Albert. I was gonna make a joke, but I shoot can't say it on, on, the, on air. Oh, shit. I'll tell you later. <laughs> I mean, it's like tests with roids. Um, okay. I'm addicted go. to the roids, brother. Whoa, you already got roids? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you guys want to get me some roids, man? <laughs> Whoa. What's going on? Can we do an RVD promo on SmackDown? He's so do, fucking great. I'm going to do a whole promo like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm letting you. I'm letting you run with it. <laughs> Let's move What's forward. What's up, guys? I'm a hardcore champion. <laughs> Is that fucking gnarly? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> shaka, bra. <laughs> Let's go ride the waves. I'm gonna go down to the pier, bra. <laughs> get super gnarly, maybe get some hot chicks, bra. Uh, <laughs> what the? What the? Now we turn to fucking X Pac. Jesus Christ! All Kane right. gets uh, over. Kane gets over with the yeah, boys. Yeah, this is your brother. gimmick. Yeah, go this ahead. This is my gimmick. So. Um, you know, biker dudes are all hanging out at the bar, and, uh, you know, Kane's just kind of being back in the corner, but, uh, uh, you know, they're just kind of hanging out, whatever. Uh, the biker dude, one of the biker dudes has to go. He tries to, uh, start his motorcycle. It's not working. He's like, you know, brum, 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 brum. God damn it. Brum, brum, brum. Ugh, fuck. And so Kane goes, Kane, well, he doesn't say anything. He just looks towards the bike. And then he does the arm gimmick. And, and he, he sets it on fire. Sets it on fire. Arms go down. The bike starts. Oh, Everybody's shit. Everybody's like, holy fucking shit. <laughs> what just happened? And so they all go, whoa, dude. All right, all right. Gnarly. <laughs> Gnarly, dude. Whoa. <laughs> Tubular. <laughs> this episode's going to be called Gnarly. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, let's call it Gnarly. Fuck yes. Um, yeah, Kane gets over with the boys, and then, um, they all start drinking have a good time. Good shit? Yep. Oh, it's Val Venus! Whoa! It's, it's Val Venus! Val Venus is backstage. <laughs> He's with Ivory. Yeah. He's got a match against China later tonight. Mm-hmm. Val Venus says, I am not afraid of China. China stands for everything that we must fight against in society. <laughs> she is an exhibitionist. A rebellious figure, and above all, a whore. Damn. China, I will have no problem beating you tonight, because if you haven't noticed, or you just don't know, I've been dominating women my whole life. <laughs> uh, and, and Ivory's <laughs> like, what the, what the fuck, man? That's not your character. Stop <laughs> it. That's not the gimmick, brother. That's not the gimmick. This is literally opposite the gimmick. I'd like to say my favorite wrestler is Val Venus. Thank I'd you. like to say my favorite wrestler is the very prestigious Pal Penis. Mm-hmm. Very yes. much so. Moving forward. 
It's yep. a match. It is. It's Scott Steiner. Oh. Wow, Steiner's the fucking man. 85 the... in-ring performance. Jesus. He what wasn't... A God. Farouk was not selling for him. <laughs> Scott Steiner beat Farouk in 13-12 by submission with a Steiner recliner. So he's moving wow. on. Uh, in the second round, he will face Raven. Wow. Uh, that'd be interesting. That'd be a good match. And then on SmackDown, we've got Tess taking on Rhino. And the big match of Edge taking on K-fucking-Quick, brother. A main event in any arena. <laughs> main event in any arena. Are you following that Twitter account? Uh, No, I know. I've seen the... Well, yeah, I've, I've sent it to you. Cause, like, yeah. yeah. No, I know. I've just... I follow I've them. seen it. Here, I follow yeah. them. They're dope as fuck. Good gimmick. They're fucking good hilarious. Gimmick. They are, to be fair. Um, I should follow them. Why aren't I following yeah, them? Yeah, go follow them, to be honest. They're, I will. It's really fucking... It's like, um... How, what the hell would you say you describe it as? It's like, you know those gimmicks on Raw where they pop up and they're like, later tonight. It's like the stupidest, like, ones of those. Like, the most yeah. just... It's like, uh, like... I don't know, uh... <laughs> Raw Van Dam, gnarly promo, later tonight. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Raw Van Dam Whoa. rides Whoa. the waves later tonight. <laughs> So, something like that. Yeah. Good good match, though. Scott Steiner moves on. <laughs> yeah, good shit. Holy shit, it's Ray! Wow. What? Who? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what? Yeah. Gnarly. Gnarly. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> Your voice for this gimmick. You were made for this gimmick. I was made for this gimmick. You were made to be shitty PG Rob Van Dam. I love shitty PG Rob Van Dam. It's great. So I want to be. I want to be every stoner surfer fucking douche from the fucking nineties ever. I want to be that. So Eddie Guerrero's in the ring, right? <laughs> yeah. What's he and, doing? And he's still Italian. He's like Bob da boop. He's like Edge, hey, a Christian, come down to the ring. I'll fight me over this a piece. I'm gonna kick your ass. And I so have then... a theory. I have a theory about that. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Like. In the late 90s, early 2000s, they had a lot of Chef Boyardee commercials. You know, like, yeah, Big Show and Mankind yeah. and stuff. Yeah. You think, you think Eddie was just doing a Chef Boyardee commercial that got kind of wrapped up in it? Yeah, I dig it. Okay. I like it. Sucker! No. Um, <laughs> Boo. All right, I'll have to go hang myself. <laughs> uh, so Edge and Christian come out. Uh, you yeah. Know, you, you think you know me. Um, and so they're just kind of like, Eddie, you fucking moron. <laughs> We've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> you come out here, you call us out, one of us goes out there and fights you, and we beat you. Now, you know, we're not going to say that has anything to do with the fact that there's two of us and one of you, because it totally doesn't, and all of our wins have been legitimate one-on-one -on -one contests. That's right. Uh, you, you can fucking check the tapes. <laughs> but, check the tapes, brother. Eddie, there's only one of you, and there's two of us, and... To be honest, I've been looking around, and you know, after you were talking about that friend that you had, I don't, I don't think you have any friends anymore. Where's, where's Perry Saturn? Isn't he the friend of the Mexicans? Oh, <laughs> oh, delay! Here comes Perry fucking Saturn. Ooh, yeah. T t tell me when, uh, tell me when Perry Saturn does something relevant. Damn. So Eddie, where's your, where, where's your big boy, huh? Where's your big lad? Let's fucking see him. And so, uh. How does Ray show up? <laughs> hmm. Here's my gimmick, all right? Edge and Christian right. are walking towards the ring. Ray, from the fucking crowd, jumps on top of the barricade, leaps mm -hmm. at Christian, Hurricane Rana. I like it. Just, holy shit, Edge, Edge just kind of like, just kind of like, from where he is, freezes, drops his mic, and he's just like, uh, what the <laughs> fuck just happened? Uh, I like it, I like who it. Who the fuck is that? And... <laughs> Ray kind of like just fucking looks at Edge and he's like, Odele. Odele. <laughs> and Edge is like, ah! <laughs> Edge runs away. It's like, not good, not good. <laughs> and uh, Ray throws Christian in the ring. Um, Eddie frog splashes him. <laughs> yeah, he does. Fuck it. The odds have been evened. It's Mexico versus Canada. Let's go. Even though Eddie, or even though Ray's American? Uh. I think Eddie's American. Uh, I think Eddie's American. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure Eddie is definitely American. Um, yeah, I think Ray is shoot Mexican. Like same. I think Eddie... Ray is actually shoot Mexican. I'm pretty sure yeah. Eddie is uh, Texas, though. I think right? was, uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think he was born in Texas. Yeah. That, that's what uh, Lasso from El Paso is, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't he from El Paso? I think so, yeah. Old El Paso, mucho taco night. Um, 
Is that a gimmick Jesus. in America? Is that a gimmick? Uh, it's a fucking taco like thing. <laughs> I, I know. I know. Like, <laughs> there's like some kind of sauce or something. I don't really. I don't know that gimmick you're referencing. Gnarly sauce, bro. Whoa, bro, the sauce. <laughs> Let's move forward. Oh yeah. man, China fucking kills Valvinus. <laughs> Beats him with power bomb about six twelve. Anything you gotta say about this? Um. Yes, I do. Oh shit. Okay. Four score. Seven years ago. Moving on. <laughs> I didn't know the rest of that. If I knew any of that speech, I was gonna do the whole thing. But I knew that. Oh my god! What is this? Oh, wait a minute. Do you want me to break it down? Or you yeah, yeah, yeah. It? This is your gimmick. Okay. So, Undertaker and Kane, they're living it up, brother. They're, Kane's over with the boys, you know? They're all drinking, hanging out. It's having a good time. But, uh, you know, there was something something about it. They're at a bar. Did you realize that? Tuck? I, I mean, no. Did you realize that? Actually, I thought, I thought they were at, like, a, a, like a, like a, like a crocheting club. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Like, yeah. You know what so, that wasn't is, the right? case. So, that wasn't the gimmicks. Oh. Well, where were they? They're at a bar. Oh. Yeah. I feel guess I feel like else, I should have known that. Guess who else drinks at bars, brother? The APA! Oh, oh my god! They come in and they take over... No. Dudley's. Oh. Uh, oh. Dudley's come in. Oh, shit. Beat down. Brothers of Destruction. It's a barroom brawl! Barroom brawl. Shoot barroom brawl. And uh, you know, doing a you know bunch of gimmicks, breaking glasses and bottles, and uh, you, know, you know, uh, fucking like pool sticks, you know, breaking yeah, over the back. Yeah, think of think of the uh, barroom brawl between the APA and uh, the Outlaws. Yeah, right? that, what was that? Oh, was that a uh, 06? Oh, no, six. would you say Outlaws? Yeah, Outlaws. When was that? Like ninety eight. Oh, I was thinking of the barroom invitational that was like an 06. No, I'm thinking of like the one where like they actually like. Like New Age Outlaws like went to like a bar and then like, oh I forgot about that the, fuck that that was that was my whole like thought with this segment when I like, oh, pitched I had, you I that had... they like brawled well yeah I mean because well, like you had the you, well it started it, background it started as like a funny gimmick right like Kane being like the little brother who had to go with Taker and I right. was like oh shit they could like go somewhere and then like the Dudleys could fuck him up I thought I pitched that the Dudleys attacked him. You might have, but that's where well, my mind immediately went. Like whatever. So they're whatever. beating them down. It's a bar, right? And uh, you know they're be- they they get the upper hand. You know Taker and Kane were caught off. They never really had a chance. Yeah, yeah. Dudley's pretty much lay waste to them, and uh, the the camera pans up, and there's a couple of girls, um, doing like like a like a strip tease dance kind of deal. You know, it's a it's a bar. Shit happens. You know what I mean? Shit and, happens. Uh, shit happens. Says controller know? of women three seven. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I. I establishments and uh you know i guess i'll, I'll talk about that later uh devon uh yanks a random girl down from from the table <laughs> throws her <laughs> over his shoulder and just fucking walks out with her and she's shouting and like totally concerned and it's stacy keebler hey oh, hey and that's how to introduce a character that's right i personally gave devon that idea <laughs> god damn it <laughs> all right let's move forward yeah. It's time for our main event. Okay. So Chris Benoit is like, I need a friend to face yeah. Kurt Angle and Rhino in the main event because we didn't build Perry this. Saturn is very friendly. Perry Saturn is a friend of all Mexicans. So Even Chris Benoit. Even Canadian Mexicans. Ah, okay. So Benoit brings out Perry Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, God damn it, Perry Saturn again? Up next. Benoit, what? Saturn, Angle, Rhino. Are you ready? Uh, 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 Too late. Uh, oh, eighty-one okay. B. Nice. That's that's pretty good. Consider, considering like Perry Saturn and Rhino are pretty shit. <laughs> Literally. Um, this is about what I expect from this kind of match. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very, very proud of this. Um. Same. So, uh, Rhino and Kurt beat Chris and Perry. Oh. Uh, Rhino beats Perry with a gore. Hey. Um. Wow. Yeah. Any anything else you got to say about this? To be honest. Um, uh, I mean, 
Yeah. It's a pretty equal match, pretty even. I would uh, say so. Between Benoit and Angle, that is. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Rhino gets in the ring, though, and, like, even Benoit's having trouble, like, keeping Rhino under control because he's, he's a fucking animal. Like, right. He's a shoot animal. He's a shoot animal. <laughs> yep. Um, and, yeah, Perry Saturn gets hit with the gore. Yeah, good shit. And to end out the night, it's the boys. Oh, man. Triple H and Steve Austin come down to the ring. Steve got some money. He says, you sons of bitches, both of you, you think you're going to come down to this ring again and kick the shit out of me and Hunter. No, 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 no more. All right. When I find you fuckers, either two of you, one of you, it doesn't matter. You're going to experience the worst feeling of your life. I'm going to find you, no matter where it is, across the United States of America. And I'm telling you right now, I will whip you harder than I whip Deborah every single night. And Trips is like, uh, okay, fuck, okay. Trips are what Austin means. <laughs> what Steve means, Booker, Page, you two seem to think that you're pretty smart guys, right? You've jumped us now three times in the past week. You know, maybe, maybe it's our bad, right? Because, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. But fool me three times. That's when... That's when this kind of composed side of me, you see right here, starts to go away. So... This Thursday, on SmackDown, we're laying down the challenge again. Steve Austin and Triple H versus Booker T and Diamond Dallas Page. The two of you, we, we know how you like to operate. Me, me, me and Steve know something especially, you know, about jumping dudes from behind. It's kind of... Kind of a thing of ours. He was like, hell yeah it is. If you think that's a thing of ours, give me a hell yeah. And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Why are you even a heel? Um, <laughs> For real. Trips is like, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So Booker, Dallas, we're going to give you the opportunity to do it again. But this time, it's going to be a street fight. So even when you do jump us, because you inevitably will, it's not going to be the end. It's not going to be a no contest. It's not even going to be a factor. Because when you're facing the two greatest men this sport has to offer, the WWF World Champion, the WWF Intercontinental Champion, the game, the ass kicker, Stone Cold, the Rattlesnake. There's only one outcome. Everybody goes down for the three count. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Jesus. Raw. Good Raw. Good fucking I like Raw. It. That's good. That's real good. I made a mistake. I, I clicked the button. You did it. That's all right. We'll go through it. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy with that, Tuck. Good job. We did it. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to say to the people? I want episode. to say, I want to say that my favorite, my favorite color. <laughs> Tread carefully. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll re-choose my final statement. All right. Tuck, I, um. Uh, there was a there was an old an old saying back where I came from, back where I grew up. <laughs> and it was No, I'm gonna rephrase that as well. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, well, one more shot. If it fucks up, I'm done. <laughs> Tuck, I'm in the market for some gold. Do you have any? I do. And have I got a deal for you. <laughs>